Alright, welcome back. Uh, this is a continuation of making the Thunderbolt HTC into a powerful business phone, or, you know, for that matter, making any Android device into a powerful business phone. Um, let's take a look at what I want to do next. Next, I'm going to install the ADW launcher, which will improve the real estate of the screen a lot. I mean, take a look at the stock, any stock Android comes with four rows and four columns in terms of space you can only put four uh, applications across and you know four rows of things across as well which when you get to these 4.3 inch screens uh, becomes a little you know unuseful in a sense because you have so much more screen real estate so why not uh, make things a little smaller and uh, achieve more space on each page so you can lay out your apps and widgets the way you really like uh, you can tell that on my Droid X we have six, uh, yep, we got six columns and eight rows, which gives me a lot more flexibility, a lot more things I can install. My widgets can hold a lot more information in them. They're scrollable as well. You know, we see we got the small icons at the bottom. The easy way to access the um, uh, app drawer, not a problem. And just overall, I think it. You can do a lot more with it. See, I have my favorites there. You can place them out anywhere I like. Uh, all the other widgets, power controls, and so forth. So, let's go ahead and start with installing it on the HTC Thunderbolt. Um, the one on Droid X is actually the free version of uh, ADW um, Launcher, which is an awesome app, even in its free edition. But I'm going to take it a step further into the Thunderbolt. I'm going to go ahead and install the um, the paid version. So let's go ahead and you see that I already have it installed right there. So I'm going to go ahead and with the home button change my launcher and go into the ADW launcher. And we see that things are already much, much smaller and I have much more real estate. But let's, let's basically start from the beginning on this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my settings. And I'm going to go and completely reset my ADW launcher so we can start from the beginning. Click OK and we see we're back to uh, our four rows and four columns with you know big icons. So let's start looking at all the settings we have available here. Um, presets. I'll go ahead and use the default preset. You can do a iPhone is your next Nexus one like uh, kind of presets and so forth. But I'll go ahead and use the default one, which gives me back gets me back to the screen that I was at, and we see that not much has changed so far. So let's go back into the settings and continue on modifying our screen. So the icons, um, I don't need a fancy background in the icons. Basically, what that does. It uh, puts like a box like colored background behind your icons. You can change their colors. You can bevel and emboss them a little bit, you know, make, give them different effects and so forth. But I am going to go ahead and choose new icons and go to new icon settings. I like my icon size much, much smaller. So this is at 100%. I'm going to go and take it down to 70, which we'll see what that does. Icons text size. I got very good eyes. And since I'm trying to. Um, improve the real estate on my screen. I'm going to take this all the way down to five. Usually, before I had ADW Launcher, I would just remove uh, the text completely from the icons. But sometimes it's useful to have the text on there because you know when you start getting into uh, having many applications on your phone, like you know 40s, 50s, and 60s, you just uh, it's very helpful to have the label under there. And the label color, I'm fine with with the original one. So let's go and hit back and from this point on I'm just going to use my ADW launcher by default so we see how much smaller these icons are let's take a look at that and the text is much smaller as well you may be never able to be read it but um, I don't have a problem reading it and you know again this is your preference as a user of how big or small you make the text or the icon itself um, so let's go back to the settings and continue on modifying my phone with ADW Launcher, the paid version. Back to UI settings. Let's go to my main dock. Um, the style, I like it to be five icons so I can have you know, two icons on the left, the app launcher thing in the middle, 
the button in the middle, um, and two icons on the right. Let's go ahead and pick the background. I'll just do the ADW theme. Or actually, I like to do none. And none removes any type of background from the from your uh, dock. The dock size. This is um, how big the icons are. Again, I want to make this a lot smaller. I want to take mine down to five, and click OK. And if we go to advanced settings, you can uh, give a tint to your icons in the dock, or you can catalog the navigation, which is pretty cool. But um, I'm going to keep that on. Go back home, and we see that already the icons are much smaller so let's go ahead and complete them real quick we gotta bring our phone into there uh, so I'm gonna put my phone in there the messages oh, I could have got that let me just remove that for now and then I like to put my market actually let me remove the internet out of there I like to put my market in the right because it access all the time and I'm gonna put my Gmail, which I use a lot, in the bottom. So basically, this is your preference again, but whatever I use the most, I like to put it in the bottom drawer. As you see right there, we got the phone, text messages, app drawer button, Gmail, and the market. Uh, let's go ahead and continue editing my phone with ADW Launcher. So go back to UI settings, screen preferences. This is where it gets. This is where you start actually freeing up freeing up a lot of real estate on the screen. Uh, the desktop columns, uh, I like to make them eight. And the free version only offers up to uh, seven, I believe. So this can go all the way up to 10. You know, that is right there, but I'm gonna keep it up to eight. But I will make my rows all the way up to 10. Um, let's go back and see what that looks like. You see that basically I have 10 different rows I can put my apps in and pretty much eight columns but we're going to show you how to clean this up a little bit let's go back to settings click more so go going through this again um let's show the desktop indicator um we can oh, i like to auto hide it so basically when we arrive at the page we want to be at the thing disappears i mean i guess theoretically it saves uh the screen um, power so we'll go ahead and keep believing that and just remove it indicator type I like to have my sliding uh, paginator bottom uh, trash can position we'll leave it at the top I believe that's where it's at right now home orientation we, we want to keep it that auto um, there's no need to put it one way or the other or again that's your preference so hide the status but I'm going to keep that on there I'm going to overlap the widgets which is a useful function in advanced settings I'm going to keep the icon labels in this case because I made the text on them very small. I am going to auto stretch it which will basically take my apps to the edge of the screen to the right, left, top and bottom. And auto close folders that's your preference. Um, I'm going to keep that unchecked for now. So let's go back home and you see how uh, basically the text collapsed to the icon and now it's much more closer to the screen so I can truly move it clo uh, closer to each one now you see how I'm going to be able to get um, you know eight columns and ten rows so let's go ahead and continue doing this um, changing some of these settings so we went through the screen preferences drawer settings I like to uh, add drawer style let's see what we got horizontal I like to keep my vertical 4d it's a very cool looking uh, ab drawer right there full screen uh, hide the dog when opening the app drawer basically that'll get rid of your phone text message the bottom five applications you can make them disappear but I like to keep them open to access uh, you know fairly fast if I need to so I'm going to keep that unchecked drawer columns um, let's do five or actually let's do six there's nothing wrong with putting six on there the rows let's make them six also drawer column landscape you know, they just ask you how much you want in the landscape version uh, compared to the portrait version. Actually, in the landscape, the columns, you can have a lot more. You do seven and do five on here. Background color. Um, we can make it pretty much, I like to make it right in the middle between transparent and full color. Um, background color, we just went through the icon text color leave it the way it is hide labels I like to keep these labels especially when you're going through like 70 apps you've got to see what your uh, what the names are so let's go back and see how this looks 
So when I click on my drawer, you see that we kind of have this four-dimensional um, look. You see how they kind of hide in the background. And I got six of them in a row and six um, columns. So that's cool. Let's keep that. Let's continue on with the settings. Let's go to US settings again. Hide dog bar. Basically, this is another dog bar which you can bring up. Let me show you an example. You can basically, uh, with your thumb like that, you see that I brought up another kind of dock which I can put additional icons on there so I can swipe that down whoops, and swipe it back up it's just like a quick access to certain things so those are the settings that I was just in let's take a look at them again whoops go back to UI settings hide dock bar oh we can close the app drawer close dock bar but I'm just gonna leave this the way it is the background let's keep it none See how that affects it. Go back down. Whoops. There we go. There's no background. You see how that was uh, before it was slightly dark tint or dark uh, gradient that went across. And we're not right now it's none, so I'll just keep it at none. Um, continue with the settings. Now I completed all the UI settings, so let me go to general behavior animation effects screen transition effects there's a lot of cool ones um, I'm just gonna keep it normal scroll uh, so I don't waste my battery because I use this for business a lot and you know if you want to impress your friends go ahead and choose an effect desktop scrolling speed I'm gonna leave that at what it's set most of these I usually leave the way they are um, allow the wallpaper to move while scrolling screens I like that so I'll keep that on there sense preview this basically means that uh, the HTC sends when you swipe down or hit the home button twice. Let's take a look at it. It brings you to this type of preview. I like the uh, ADW launcher preview, which if I change this general behavior, let's go back. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that and show you what that looks like. You see that? So I have all five screens and I can go one by one through there. Um, let's continue our settings, general behavior, animation effects, gestures, home button binding, so if I hit home, it's going to go to show previews, but I'm just going to leave it at none, I don't need to do anything with that, but what I like to do is swipe down, I want to show the previews that way, and swipe up, I'm going to close my status bar, so let me show you what that does, again if I swipe down, I get all my previews right there and if I choose it and swipe up it hides my status bar and swipe up again to bring it down so that's pretty useful for if you don't want to have it on there um, let me do one thing and actually the launcher icons let me do the ADW settings and bring it down here and I usually like to keep that on the first page so I can quickly access these settings there we go um, then go on system preferences Customize menu, um, there's really no reason to mess with it, at least for me. Show notifications, yes, bubble size, font, um, you know, we can make this smaller, again, scrolling, cache, wallpaper hack, system persistent. Um, this is, again, a preference if you want to keep it system persistent or not. Basically, what that does is, if you have any application that kills or you know end, ends tasks on your applications, it will make sure that the ADW launcher stays intact because otherwise, it's going to mess up your screen and probably take you to your default launcher, which would be the Sense uh, HTC Sense in this case. And open transitions, um, zoom fade. Let's go ahead and keep it zoom. Go ahead and uh, get out of that. Come home, and we see that this is the way I'm going to have my screen. So. Uh, I'm going to show you a complete version of this in a few minutes.